from the gym that was a really good morning workout it was my first time working out that early in the morning in a very long time and i loved it i'm hoping to get back to my morning workouts lately i've been working out at night time mostly every single workout has been a pm workout and the gym is just so packed at night when i went today all the machines were open and free i could do whatever i wanted whenever i wanted to because it wasn't packed like it usually is at night time. Anyways, I didn't even welcome y'all. Happy Friday. Welcome to a new vlog. I hope you're all doing well. I'm going to make my juice now. I'm going to make a celery pineapple juice. And then I'm going to freshen up and start work for the day. And then when I finish work, I'm going to clean my apartment. I have a lot to clean. I literally see little finger marks all over my dining table my table is like that because that's like where i work from for the most part i really want to get out of the habit of working from there because it's not the most comfortable but not necessarily because of my table but because of my chair i ordered a computer chair so that i can sit at my desk like i should be doing this whole time it gets uncomfortable so i'm always switching from this section of my couch to the chair throughout the day like back and forth i ordered a computer chair or like an office chair with like ergonomic support on amazon it's arriving today so i'm gonna put that together and hopefully that will make my work from home experience better for my back <laughs> i should have gotten a computer chair so long ago i'm on the computer for so long not just working but also when i edit my videos i need a proper chair to take care of my back you know Anyways, let me quickly make my juice and then get my day started. my makeup for y'all if you're interested in my everyday makeup routine let me know down in the comment section routine it only took me like 10 to 12 minutes which i love i'm gonna get to work now <laughs> that's a lie i rode it for like five minutes like tested it out but i haven't taken it for like a long ride um but i've been buying accessories for it i just bought 
a lock for it because my main purpose is to write it to the gym and back home and like just write it for fun as well this is what it looks like it's a hybrid bike so it's good for all types of terrain from concrete to trails if i ever want to take it when i go hiking and stuff so I'm super excited about my bike. I'm actually gonna have it mounted on the wall. Y'all know, New York apartment living, you have to figure out strategic ways to put things. So this is the part that will be on the wall, like holding up the bike. And it's actually gonna be laying flat. I'll show you that when it's installed. I'm gonna put it away because I'm not gonna be the one like drilling into the wall or like putting this together. So I'm just gonna leave this for now i got it on amazon and it had a lot of good reviews i was looking for one that didn't like protrude from the wall just wanted to make really good use of space and instead of having like the wheels popping out i wanted the bike to just lay flat against the wall so that's why i picked that one in particular i'll show you how it ends up hanging on my wall and all that good stuff This brought a U-lock as well as a cable. I actually went to the gym today and I saw that they have a bike rack there for you to secure your bike. And I noticed that somebody was using it and I saw how they just tied the bike with just the U-lock. But I know that there will be instances where I'll probably also need this rope thing. Right, Y'all, it is 7.30 and I'm about to clean my apartment. So let's do a clean with me. There's quite a bit of a mess all around. Like I just need to clean my desk, my glass tables, sweep, mop the floor. So let's get started. gym clothes because I'm planning on going to the gym when I'm done with my errands and when I went outside to walk chase it was a little bit chilly so I'm gonna bring this jacket just in case and my little leather bag from ASOS I love this bag it's giving early 2000s and yeah I have to go to Marshalls and I have to go to Target let me actually get my list Okay, so I have to get olive oil, pet wipes, coffee, and usually I get really good coffee and olive oil from Marshalls and like TJ Maxx, and they also have like a really great pet section, so I always buy Chase's stuff there, like his toys. I got his bed from there as well, and they just have like so many cool things in their pet section, so I'm just gonna pick up more pet wipes. I literally just right now when we got back from our morning walk. Then from Target, I wanna get paper towels, Ziplocs, garbage bags and foil paper that's my list also bringing my shopping bags because i don't want to pay for bags and i don't want to get their paper bags either which don't really hold up stuff well see y'all later <laughs>
errands that was so stressful like weekend shopping is always just full of so many people i literally spent more time in the line at marshall's than i did like looking for the stuff that i was gonna buy it's also super hot outside i got chase two packs of pet wipes these have 150 wipes each it's the lavender scent and it's supposed to be calming i also stacked up on coffee this is the starbucks pipe place roast it has notes of cocoa and rich praline and it's a medium roast i love the coffee from starbucks they know what they're doing when it comes to where they're sourcing their coffee from i don't think i've tried the pipe place roast yet but i've tried their other roasts I also got some extra virgin olive oil. This is cold pressed, good for frying, grilling, salad, sauteing. 25 ounces and it was only $10. Got this sweet Spanish. Oh shit, I got the wrong thing. This is sweet Spanish paprika. I thought I got smoked paprika. So we'll see how this tastes. Otherwise, it's getting returned. I don't know if I'm going to return it. I'm, I'm so bad at returning stuff, y'all. Like, it's... Most times it's not worth the hassle for me. I'd rather re-gift it or just keep it. I hate returning stuff with a passion. I haven't gotten a nail polish in a really long time because I've been doing gel for the most part. It's by OPI. Like, I love gel and everything. I love the durability. I love that the manicure lasts me at least two weeks. What I don't like is removing it. Removing gel is such a hassle that I'm going to start just doing it once a month. And then in between, I'll just let my nails breathe with like clear nail polish or like a strengthener nail polish or just regular polish because removing gel is just too time consuming and it's too much for me sometimes. <laughs> that is all I got from Marshalls. And then from Target, I got a few household items that I was missing. I got two rolls of paper towels. Some gallon sliders. I store so many different things in these little Ziploc bags. Also got aluminum foil. Got some garbage bags as well. These are 13 gallon and they have order control and there are 50 bags here. So yeah, that is all I got. That was a successful morning of running errands. It took a long time, but I'm happy that I'm done with those things. I was running out of stuff. And today I officially ran out of Chase's pet wipes. So I was like, I need to go stock up on things. Get in the drop, take the head off the rules with your head outside. <laughs> 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 So we came on a hike and it's supposed to be a three mile loop and it's the hardest hike I've ever been on. And we're supposed to go where those little people are over there from here. And we've already done climb all sorts of rocks. <laughs> I could throw up. 
if you're listening. <laughs> if I make it back. Nah, I can't. <laughs> no, these are like, these are like the steps from the Great Wall. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. They make them uneven so the horses will be fucked up when the machine is coming. Oh. Uh. You see where that flag is right there? That's where we were and then we continued this way. We did that. I'm proud of us. I'm very proud of us. p.m. I just came back from the gym. I actually ended up working from a coffee shop today, which was so nice. I love Gregory's coffee. The coffee's really good. The vibes were good. And I'm happy I discovered another coffee shop option in my neighborhood. I literally just got the computer chair that I ordered a while ago on Amazon delivered today. I have Prime, but for some reason that one took a long time to get delivered to me. So I don't know why it took five days to deliver, but whatever. I got my chair. And I'm gonna put it together right now. I'm so excited. Even though tomorrow I'm going to the office again, so I won't really get to test it out until Thursday this week. I think I'm gonna work from home Thursday. So that will give me a full day of sitting on it and I'll let y'all know if it's any good. I actually got it for really affordable on Amazon. It was like $50. I was like, what? $50 for a computer chair? And the reviews were really good, so I'm gonna put it to the test. <laughs>
Happy Thursday, bike update. I rode my bike to the gym today for the very first time. I rode like a total of four miles there and back home. It was nice for the most part. It wasn't a bad experience at all, but these New York City streets are scary. So you have to be like extra cautious and like look back before you like merge. It's a lot, but today my journey to the gym was like a mix of regular road and it took about like 10 minutes for me to get to a place that had a proper bike lane but still it's like a shared road so both bikes and vehicles can be on it i just had to be extra careful i'm just getting acclimated to my bike it was a great workout i definitely didn't do cardio at the gym because the right there and back was my cardio i was struggling and i was also playing a lot with the gears which is a whole nother story. Sorry, y'all. I just went on a whole bicycle rant, but I'm here to close out this vlog. Comment a bicycle emoji if you made it to the end. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.